Um, and that's partly why I would say Rules to Life also has, it's a funny book because it has a very religious core, but it's also very heavily grounded in evolutionary biology. So, um, but that's what chapter 11 is about. And it's about people who are the enemy of the human spirit, the people who restrict children's play, for example, which is a particularly pathological thing to do. There's a movement now to not let children have best friends. It's like, really? What the hell, man? That's so... Yeah. There are so many things wrong with that idea that it would take an entire another lecture just to scrape the surface. But mostly it's just... Well, I, I, I don't know where to start it. Uh, final rule. It's called pet a cat when you encounter one on the street. And it's, it's, a very, it's the most personal chapter in the book. It's a lot about my daughter. And my daughter was very ill when she was, well, when she was a kid, but well, particularly when she was a teenager. She had a very terrible cognitive. Um, she had juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, and when she was between the ages of 14 and 16, it first destroyed the hip, which had to be fixed, and then it destroyed the ankle. Woo! Leg, which had to be fixed. What's going on? Raj coming at y'all. Hope everybody is well. Thank you, Heavenly. Oh. Massive doses of opiates. The opportunity to be able to see you guys. Hope everybody is doing well. It's not a fragrance review video. I decided. Not about talking about fragrance reviews. I gotta do something different, man. I gotta. May not be the same thing like this all the time, but it's gonna be something different. We're not gonna keep doing these fragrance reviews because now there's three thousand four hundred. There's thirty thousand fragrance reviewers. The chapter's a meditation on that. Yeah, I'm out of breath a little bit. There's thirty thousand fragrance reviewers and there's about twenty-nine thousand fragrances. So, uh, you know, all I'm saying is, ain't, ain't no room for me no more. I'm out of the game. And I ain't got no problem with it. Hope you guys are doing well. You had a good weekend. I'm on vacation or a staycation. And just going to take my opportunity to, you know, do this and do that. Try to get around. I'm thinking about going up to Lancaster today. Haven't seen Raj in a while at Perfumes Unlimited. I'm going go up there and hang out with him today. Smell some juices. Hopefully he got some new stuff up there. Because it would kind of behoove me not to go all the way up there and... He doesn't have anything. I mean, but that don't mean anything. Only because it's a long ride, okay? It's like an hour, hour, 20-minute ride. Whereas to go downtown and the city is like a 45-minute ride. So I'm at another 45 minutes to go see Raj out in Lancaster. Whereas when I go see Perfumology, I know everything got down there. But I still don't mind going down there because we like fam. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that is. All right, shout out to Perfumology. Of course, Perfumes Unlimited. And all the people I, you know, I, I, I deal with in this fragrance situation name is i had ellen call me and you know tell me about some new fragrances that's coming out so ellen and uh, of course cat and donna and shelby everybody at neiman's the creed girls uh at neiman's um oh man y'all know i'm all over the place i want to see sammy hopefully i'm, I'm gonna call down there and see if sammy gonna be down there this week before I, if i go to va so uh my man my man asaw and christian might be coming down that way i'll let you know all right, so if that's the case, bada bing, bada boom. And don't forget the fragrance event coming up Saturday. Heaven willing, we're going to do a fragrance event at Sit and Sip. Uh, you probably remember me making this bottle at Sit and Sip. So we're doing one this Saturday. Please, I got 10 seats. If there's going to be more people, I really need to know. So far, I've only got confirmation from two other people. And it's Asaw and G, I think. I'm not sure. But Asaw is coming up. I'm not sure if he's bringing, you know, a fragrance partner with him, but of course it's me and Twinkle Toes, and uh, anybody else who want to be involved is fine, of course, it's the same day that Perfumology is doing this thing with John Bieber, understandable, not a problem, uh, you know, pick one you want to go to, and check it out, no allegiances, I won't feel some kind of way, and I'm sure near will not feel any kind of way either, depending on which one you want to go to, okay, but we had such a great time last week, uh, the Friday before last, and we just wanted to share it with everybody else, and thought, hey, why not do an event? And sit and sniff, you know what I mean? So, and definitely it's so cool because, like I said, you can bring your food, you can bring, I think you bring the food. They got a winery right down the street that makes wine without grapes. You just make wines with fruits, you know what I mean? So, uh, that might be something you might want to get be interested to when you come. I'm not sure if you can bring alcohol, alcohol, but it says sit and sip. That means sit whatever you want to bring. You feel me? Everybody good? Hey, I can't read y'all because that. This phone is my very small phone, and I can't really read that writing, so if I'm not responding to you, don't worry about it. Just know I'm saying hi to everybody. Hope everybody is doing well, and that's all I got for you. I'm using a small phone today. Other phone is charging up. It is what it is, man. I'm not a professional 
YouTuber, blogger, blogger, vlogger, vlogger, vlogger. I'm just riding real deep cool doing these things. We got two hit tracks done. I got to mix them bad boys down. I want to thank Felicia Wilkins for coming through, polishing off her track. I'd like to thank Samia Staten for coming through, polishing off her track. We got two hits. I'm going to release both of them bad boys before I release the whole CD. So get ready. Two coming at you. Trying to work out a video for a couple of them too. See if I can get a video done. We're going to have a ball. 2020. Holler at your boy. We do what we got to do. Each day, one day at a time, do the best you can out of each day you do. And if you're fronting and you're tripping and you're crazy and all that stuff, get it together. Reel it back in. Get some help. Not on Facebook. Not on social media. But get some help through prayer or something. Or talk to somebody you trust. But stay off social media if you're going through some things. Stay off that, man. You need to address yourself within first and then maybe talk to somebody you can trust. One day at a time. Believe me, you'll be okay. All right? Let's go. So... Uh, on Facebook, I posted a video about a few things. Y'all, if y'all look at the, what's going on, y'all see. If y'all look at the picture, the title, you'll see it. I have a container. What's being shown? I bought this. And I got my five mil, all kinds of decants here. I got decants from Crystal Fragrances in here. I got my own five mil that I made for myself, just in case I get them for somebody, or I might want to like re up during the day. I made five mils for myself, and. Uh, Bad. And then I got my I got a little breath of God body video joining here because I ain't had nothing there. But it's so hard to probably reach a five mil down in there, so I figured let me put a bottle in there. I can't really show it to you. I picked this up from Alta yesterday, Alta, and uh, that's where I got this from. And this thing holds a lot of five mil decans. I'm not sure how I many ten mil decans. I only do five mil decans. I don't need a ten mil decan. All right, so let me count them for you because we got a little time. Giving people opportunity to tell me. In that picture, what am I going to be doing right in front of you right now? What am I going to be doing with this holder, a brand new bottle of Zoologist Squid, a throwback container of 4162Z London. This is how uh, 4162Z London used to come. Now she's kind of on a paper trail. She's doing it with paper now, kind of like what perfumology, perfumology doing. Probably cut down on cost, having to do... Uh, Miss, I bought this when Mrs. Gloss made me do it when she was putting these out. That's up here, container. Get some Jim Bean, right? Get some honey. There's leather flow. And then there's a bottle soaking in alcohol, which is clean now. Then we'll put something in, I'm not sure. That's what it is. So I'm gonna give you a chance while I'm talking about how many of these containers open. I'm gonna give you a chance to try to. Keep it, what am I getting ready to do right now in front of you guys? What am I getting ready to do? I'm going to try to read it when I get back. I'm giving you a chance. Only one person on Facebook got it so far. I forgot his name. I got to look up his name. But one guy got it on Facebook what I'm actually going to do. Okay? Well, I made my own fragrance. But what does this container, squid, a new box of squid, Jim Bean Honey, Honey whiskey, regular honey. What does that have to do with everything on this table? Remember, you got a container. You got to be more specific. You got to say, Rod, you are going to do this. Can't be a blanket answer. Should be a nice sentence. Rod, this is what you get ready to do. There's only one person left. I'm only giving out a five mil of squid to the winner. One guy already won. On Facebook, there's nobody who won on Instagram. I'm not even going to look right now because it's too late anyway. I told them where I'm going to be. If they want to come over here and display the answer, that's fine. I'll be right back. I got to empty something out. Be right back. Dee, 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 dee. 
right now I'm getting ready to eat some oatmeal because like I said, I want to kind of be out here by 12 o'clock and head on up Lancaster. So I know I'm going to be up there for a couple of hours. It's going to be crazy coming back. Like I said, I'm on staycation. So I might stop by Neiman's again, mess around, smell, talk to the girls, you know what I mean? See what they're up to. Bada bing, bada boom. So, uh, so this container, this Aldi container is a lipstick container. And I saw one because I suggested Twinkle Toes get one. Not like this. But, um, Roger, you're going to make a whiskey scent and store the fragrance in a tin can. Nope. But you're close. So, she had the one that has, like, individual ones. And she can put, like, 32. Man, should I load this up? I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I got 22 just in one section. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 75 mils I have in these four sections. In this section right here, I have Crystal Fragrances 2.5 mils. So that's 70 here. And I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10. 16, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 in that section. That's about a hundred. Now, it wouldn't be 105 mils. It would probably be somewhere around maybe 95 mils I can put in here. But these right here, I put crystal fragrances in it. And you can't see them, so you have to, like, go through them every day and just look through them and say, oh, do I want to wear that? Or do I want to wear that? Hey, it is what it is. part of the adventure. You know what I'm saying? The back here, I have Christian... They're not familiar with these, but Christian has all my tubes. I sent them to him. And these are the containers that zoologists used to come in. So I gave Christian all of my zoologists because I was done with them. And um, at that time, they had squid out, which I'll be wearing today. But these are zoologist containers that came in. It was like 13 mils or 12 mils, and they came in a nice container. So like I said, I sent all mine to, to Christian so he can check it out. But these, because I forgot Christian to give you containers, man. I forgot all about it, but... So I decided just to put the containers up here in the top part. Let me see if I can twist it without them falling. There's everything that's in here. Here's the Crystal Fragrances bad boys. Here's mine. Here's the Zoologist uh, containers. And here is the fragrance. Pretty cool, man. It's still five mils. I don't know about 10 mils. Like I said, 10 mils might be a little bit bigger. This is a 10 mil, actually. That's a 10 mil of my joint right there. Geez, by not. You got 10 mil of that. What? Huh? What? Hmm. And I'm still gonna try to get another couple mil on the way back from Lancaster, heaven willing, when I go to Nemo's. I'm like, yo, you ain't moved, you ain't samples of that uh G V I nothing? I'm gonna try to give me a hundred mil hundred mil of samples. Alright, fifty mil samples. Alright. Now we're gonna talk about we already talked about this. Now we're gonna talk about zoologist squid. I'm not reviewing it because I'm not a reviewer anymore. There's 13,000 reviewers out there. 30,000 reviewers out there. Don't talk to them. I got squid. I just bought it because I liked it. And I was surprised because I went to Perfumology to actually buy. You see, I saved my plastic real carefully. I went to Perfumology just to buy. Um, I've been talking about it forever. And I tell y'all, that's what happens sometimes. You be thinking, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. Or I want to get this. I want to get that. Whatever, whatever. Next thing you know. It was just like Memoir Man. Memoir Man should have been the third or fourth niche fragrance I had in my life. Memoir Man ended up being number 200 or something. You just keep finding something else. Like, okay, I already know what Memoir Man smell like. But that, now I don't smell this. I kind of want that. The same thing with Zoologist. I'm not, after Batman, I really wasn't a Zoologist fan. I mean, I like Civet. I do like Civet. And I think that's about it. It was just Bat and Civet for me. Other people like the other ones. That's fine. They love. They got a good collection. JT has a, a nice collection of these. E dot now has a nice collection of zoologists. Me, I'm just not a zoologist here, man. It got to really stand out to me. It got to be something different. And there's no doubt that all the zoologist joints are different. They are different. Them bad boys go from stinky animal smells like rhinoceros, not rhinoceros butt, and all that stuff to something pretty cool like civet, which I expected to smell like the, the tail or the juice of a civet butt. But it's not. There might be some in there, but it's really a nice oriental type fragrance. Civet. It's like, 
civet oriental kind of crazy like that that's where it is squid i was about oh what i was about to buy was andy towers what's going on dj i was about to buy andy towers i probably invest in something like that yeah um i was about to buy andy towers um all cure do desert and it's still not out of possibility but i don't feel like a couple more and really like a better price that I can, that I can really buy. You know what I mean? I can really wait for. I mean, Desert Decoy is 185. I mean, it's worth it. It's well worth it. Believe me, well worth it. I have three Andy Towers already. I wanted a fourth one, and that that would be it. Whatever the last one I get from Andy Tower, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna be done. I like the Lonesome Rider. I like all the other ones. They're good, but all cured because I don't have LDM anymore. Uh, the mantle LDDM is what I had. Uh. Yeah, he was like, well, you got LDDM, so you're fine. You don't need all cure. Now, I sold LDDM a long time ago because I didn't have that much left. I sprayed it out. I was getting down with it. I had like LDM. LDDM was maybe like the 10th or 11th fragrance that I bought. You talking about five, six years ago? Yeah, it's been gone. All right? So I end up getting squid. I end up buying squid, man. I smelled that, man. I'm like, yo. And they had some people in the store. I must say, I'm just gonna keep saying, I don't care what, I don't care what Nia says. Shoot, so I'm keeping it, keeping it real, dog. When well, nobody in that bad boy with me and Twinkle Toes. Next thing you know, we had ten people up in that joint. Cause we bring the crowd, dog. We brings the crowd. That's what we do. We brings the crowd up in that joint. What bars? No, I don't know what happened. Maybe just coincidence. They saw us in there and they stepped in and they stayed for a while too. This, this one couple, they stayed there for about an hour with us. We stayed there a little bit longer. Another couple came in. They stayed for about a half smelling. Then a couple other people come in, other people, and then this one person came in, one of the fragrance. I said, I don't think they had that, because Brian was busy with somebody else. And he just she just happened. I said, Oh yeah, yeah, I heard of Frapon, 1270. Yeah, it's the rum piece. I said, but they don't have that here. And then Brian heard me. He was like, hey, I got something with rum in it. And then Ryan Brian came to the rescue and made that. And this person was like in and out. He was like, Bah, no, you don't have that? What? Brian, I got this. Sniff, buying it, we out. That's how fast that transaction was. I never saw a transaction like that happen <laughs> at Perfect Mouth since I've been coming there. So that's that's no doubt. That's what, that was popping a couple days ago. So I got to cover up my bowl. I'm not gonna bomb spray zoologists. I've learned a lesson. Don't bomb spray zoologists, right? Don't bomb spray that joint. Ten. Ten is about it. Ten is good money, man. Over ten squids, you're kind of asking for trouble. Because I did like a, a, a 25 piece or something like that. But it was cool, though, because the young lady and her husband that was in there that was smelling the initials and all that stuff, they were like, yeah, you smell good. And then the other two people who came in and hung around for a little while, they're like, yeah, you smell good. I said, it's probably me. And I fanned myself. They're like, yeah, you smell good. I had bomb sprayed that bad boy. So I thought, okay, bomb spraying is good. I lit up the whole store, man. We had to open the door. Lit up the store. So anyway, yeah, don't, don't mess with squid like that. Squidly Dilly, don't take no prisoners. Get you some Squidly Dilly if you don't already have it. I know JT has it. All right. Open that bad boy up right there. Okay. And then you get it. You get the writing. What it's about. I haven't read it. Probably won't. Unless somebody asked me to. And then you take out the bottle. I like this case. This is the first zoologist I ever bought for a bottle. That says something right there. Had to really impress me. So that's the box. Nice gold seal. Front on the top. Gold backing back there. You know what I mean? On the back you got some more information. Not sure what it says. Probably won't read that as well, but I can read that as well as a squid with the seal. Thank you, Victor Wong, and whoever's participating in making this. I'm with it, dog. I'm with it. And I kind of knew I liked squid too. When I when I was in there like a while ago, maybe a month ago, I, I was digging squid, but that's when B it came out. And I wasn't trying to like rain on B. So I wasn't really trying to holler too much when I was in the store about how good squid was, because B was the B was the beast at the time. So I said, like, well, I ain't gonna mention nothing about squid. I think I picked it up, showed it. But I ain't really get into it. Like, yo, I really dig this. I think I said, I like it. I like it. But a couple days ago, I went in. Let's go! One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. That's no, so seven. 
There's a smiley face. Seven. Eight. Eight. Hold on, man. Eight. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen? Sixteen piece. I think that's all I'm going to need. I'm going to spray out me a five mil of this to have it in my pocket. Just in case. And that's why you buy these five mil bottles, man. I don't know why you guys don't listen to me till it's too late. Oh, you know what? You know what? I think I'm going to buy some five mil bottles. Like I told Twinkle Toe, she should have had her five mil bottles a long time ago. But she got so many five mils from me in my collection. That's probably why she ain't never buying them. I told you, you better start buying some now. I gave her five yesterday. Yeah, and if you look at the video, Twinkle Toe said, yeah, I said it. So here we go. Now, I would give her anything she want, man. Me, me and Twinkle Toe are always cool. Um, squid. So I'm going I'm to I'm spray out me five mil just to have in my pocket. And that's also just in case Rods want to check it out. I like to have it in my pocket because, I mean, you can smell it on me, but that don't mean you have it. Somebody might say, yo, dad, what is it? And I say, well, here, I got a little sample. Spray it on your skin. And then you can go ahead and perfumology and pick it up. It's like I'm an ambassador everywhere for perfumology because I like perfumology. And if it wasn't for perfumology, they don't owe me no more than I owe them. You know? If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have most of these scents. If perfumology was not in Philly or wasn't in King of Pressure Mall, there's a lot of things in my collection I would not have. I just wouldn't have it because I wouldn't have been able to smell it. Who? There's nobody who has zoologists in Philly. There's nobody in most of y'all cities don't have zoologists. The only way you're going to get this is if you bought a sample or you just straight up went blind bought it off of a review. That's the only way you're going to get this juice. You know good and well, and I don't have to mark this because this is the only juice that's going to have blue. So I ain't have to even mark this up with a, with a label. Five mil. Put that bag on my pocket right here next to my key fob. Bam, blue juice in the back, as you can see, kind of dark juice. And it just, it just reminds me of an aquatic. It's kind of, now it's not as close to Tom Ford Ooda Mineral, but it's kind of close. It's kind of close. This is a little bit more, it's less aquatic, but more ambergris. And I'm not sure, am I doing a review? Stop it, that's it. So, Squid, what am I doing here? I'm about to freaking... I'm gonna try to put this in my cage somewhere like that because I just like the way that looks, but it'll take up too much room because this maybe I'll put it in like that and then if I take no, 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 forget that. It goes in as a bottle, put it in. What's going on, Nick? You coming to the joint? You coming to the sit and sip? Are you coming to the sit and sip, bro? So I can save you a seat. You ain't doing nothing, Saturday. Come on down real quick from five to seven. We can hobnob, have a little glass of wine. Make our own fragrances, and you can head on back up to New York. Ace saw them get in the room. I think, he said. I think he's going to stay over the night or something like that. I'm not sure what he's going to do. But he's going to hang out, so come on down, bro. If you're not driving somewhere, okay? All right, now. I mentioned to you guys. Oh, okay. All right, brother. Well, next time, man. You know, I know how to, I know you drive them. Next time. We have Jim Bean. We have some honey. Well, it's been brought to my attention that I need to lay off the vineyards. It's made the great vineyards. vineyards. Now, everybody know that wine is good for you to a certain level, progressively. I mean, you just can't be a wine. I mean, I know people, they say they drink a bottle a day. That is crazy. A lot of alcohol in there. A lot of sugar in there. A lot of content. And not because I have diabetes or anything like that. No, there's no problem with that. Because sometimes you need to fall back. I mean, it does have to be processed by your liver. And those bottle of day drinkers, ah, hey, do your thing, but I ain't with it. So I ain't drinking no bottle a day. So I decided to cut back on the wine. And then add beer, right? And um, I feel like I got to cut back on the beer. All right, I keep it real with y'all because I always do because I'm riding real deep cool, right? One day, I was um, <clears throat> girl, you keep posting, man. I might if I don't ref if I don't reply to your post, bro, it's because I can't see it. It's a small phone, and these glasses are not prescription. In fact, these glasses are worse than prescriptions. I just like them, so I can't see your post, man. But I will read your post later on. I will I will answer your post later on. Whatever you wrote, whatever you comment on. But please remember to comment after the video, please. 
please. Like, subscribe, and comment after the video, please. All right? So, a couple weeks ago, your boy, I'm a storyteller. Y'all know I'm a storyteller. I'm going to tell you a story. Hold on. No time for reviewing. I tell stories about my life. And the paper is for, got to go in trash. So, I was in the car. I was in my car, you know, chilling at work, you know, chilling like a villain. You know, you know how I do it. I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of ripping off some money. You know, I, I'm gonna ask, my job is as needed. If they don't call me all day, on certain days, if they don't call me all day, I ain't doing nothing all day. Simple as that. If they don't need me, I don't work. I make a lot of money an hour. But I'm old. Can't be out there humping, picking up people and all that stuff, man. They the dog on 59. I mean, I lost my mind. These crazy people out here, they're holding the doors, crazy, falling out. I feel sorry for the people who, like, have attacks and all that stuff. I feel sorry for them. They can't help. You don't know what's going to happen, man. You're on the train, something happened. But for the most part, I'm talking about the crazy kids. No, oh, okay. Yeah, man, motoring was cool. I got tired of it, though. I mean, I moved to trolleys. I started out on trolleys. Then they had to train us for bus because they was, they was changing the trolleys, the old trolleys over the bus. So then they taught me how to drive a bus. Got my CDL. Then after that, I went to the L, which L is on tracks, under the ground and out. You out, then you go under, and then you can come back out. You go down, you go under in Center City. You come back out on the west side. Come back the other way, west side, Center City, and then you go in, um, <clears throat> you go on the east side. So. Sitting in the car, I said I felt this pinch in my left toe. My left bit, my left big toe. I'm only telling you a story because maybe you need to hear the story. I felt a little pinch in my toe. I'm like, uh. I'm like, uh. I'm like, what the heck was that? But I just let it go. It was a pinch in her toe. I thought maybe it was a nerve, something like that. I let it go, no problem. Later on that night, man, I couldn't walk. Excuse me. I could not walk on this foot. That toe was jacked up. Man, I'm putting icy hot on it. I'm putting all kinds of stuff on the toe, right? Icy hot. I'm icing it. I'm heating it. I'm putting all kinds of freaking stuff on my toe. I'm like, yo, I have not felt that kind of pain in ages. Cause I'm a relatively healthy dude. I, I don't know. My mom didn't have gout. My daddy didn't have gout. My sister don't have gout. Ain't nobody got gout. I said I had gout. I go to the emergency room. First, I call the what you call. First, I called the pharmacist. I'm like, yo, you got something for pain? She was like, what's wrong? I said, my toe is jacked up. She said, is it swollen? I said, yeah, it's kind of swollen around the area. She said, what toe? I said, the big toe. She said, oh, that sounds like gout. I was like, what the heck is gout? I mean, of course, I heard of gout. I see gout every day on old folk. I don't know how they do it. I mean, legs that big. Gout. I'm like, no, I ain't got no gout. So I called the job. I'm like, look, I'm at the be out. Yo, do I have any days to take? No, you don't. I'll buy you. I'm going to hit the book. Give me emergency at home. I got maybe the gout. She said, well, maybe it's a nerve. Maybe it's a nerve. It don't matter whether it's a nerve or whether it's gout. I can't walk on this left foot. We ain't walking. It is done. Done deal. I was, no. And though I might sit around all day, during the week, I got to walk through trains. And that was a day off day. So that means I might have had to, like, Get out there and dig. I might have to do a little bit more. I might have to dig trains, uncouple them, couple them up, you know, change and move couplers over. I might have to do all that that day. I'm like, yo, I can't do that, yo. I might have tried to get around limping through a train. But I wasn't going to work because I'm too cool for that, yo. I can't go to work limping. I mean, there's a brother there, man. This is brother, man. He works here. This brother come to work every day. There's two of them. 
And he just come there, he just limp every day. I think he got a leg brace on, this brother limping every day. Oh, and it used to be a brother, he had a, he had a uh, substitute leg. He put it behind the work, he used to kick that leg out and bam, kick that leg out, kick that leg out. Then he had to do what he had to do. He got to make money. There was no job for him other than that. So kick that leg out and get to working. And he was a cleaner. The other guy, same thing, he a cleaner. Walt like, big guy. Walt, I think he was to be a football player. Maybe he got a football injury. He was Walt like that. And then I got my boy, Blenard, and he just, I don't know what's wrong with his leg. He a bodybuilder. I think he just, he just pushed too many freaking weights and blew out his kneecaps or something. I'm not going to work walking like that, dog. I ain't going to say I never will. There might be time I get, I get like that. I got to go. You got to go. Got to go to work. Might have to limp a little bit. But I wasn't going to work that day to limp. So I did not go in. Couldn't find out I had gout. So now, like me, y'all know me. I'm up here with everything. I start researching. Blah, blah, blah. How could I possibly got gout? Remember, I'm not going to comment. Y'all can get down on this story. I can't comment because I can't see because I'm using a little phone. So, but I appreciate your comments. Appreciate your comments. You want to leave some later? I'll respond, right? And then I'll get to the grand finale. So, it's like, yo, I, it got to hurt so bad to go to the emergency room. I went to the emergency room. They confirmed it was gout. They gave me, um, what did they give me? They gave me something, uh, a steroid. They gave me some kind of steroid. They said, going to take a couple days, old dog. He said, it ain't going to be overnight. I'm like, dog, I need to go to work in two days regardless. And that was a Thursday and Friday. I was missing some money. Yeah, I got to go to work, cuz. He was like, I don't know what to tell you, but I hope it works out for you. I'm like, all right, cool, all right. So I took the steroids. I had to take one a day, four days until I got me, right? So, basically, I looked it up and found out wine is a trigger. Beer is a trigger. And I've been drinking a lot of beer, man, because we got a Miller's Ale house here now, and they got some good stouts. All I, used, all I was drinking was stouts. Yo, give me a stout. You got a chocolate shot? I just cherry stout, but it was too sweet. I ain't like the cherry stout. So, uh, that's tea. So now we know what I'm doing with the honey. All right, so anyway, but you still got time to figure out what I'm going to do with all these compounds I showed you. What I'm going to do with the holder, squid. An old Joe Malone box from back in the day throwback. Jim Bean. Honey. Rogers Flow. I found this empty container. I gotta put something in here. You got you still got out? You got until I finish telling this story as to what I'm gonna do with all of these components. Somehow or the other. Or may not. Some stuff may not be involved. I can't tell you. One person already won on Facebook. I'm looking for winner number two. You'll get a five mil. Mail that to you. And maybe some other thing. I gotta get little envelopes. Cause I don't wanna just mail out. I might throw in some samples. I got all these samples here and stuff. I might throw in some samples. Alright? So yeah, so I found I had gout, man. Finally, I looked it up. And you know, sometimes I eat seafood. Sometimes I eat shrimp. Sometimes I eat some salmon. Sometimes I get down with some mussels. It's not every day, of course, because who can eat mussels and shrimp and all that every day? Come to find out shellfish. So you was drinking stouts, you was drinking wine, and now you're eating shellfish. And it was like three days I was eating shellfish. Me and Twinkle Toes got together. We went and got the um, we got the, the bang, 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 bang shrimp, whatever it was. Not bang, it's called something else. Boom bang shrimp was from Vera's. And then we got mussels that night. And then the next day, I don't think I ate any seafood. Then the next day I got shrimp, shrimp, um, shrimp made fun, full of shrimp. Two days later, I got gout. So don't eat shellfish if you got gout. And I had no business eating that because, like I said, I'll eat salmon. You got to eat salmon. I really get down with shrimp. But sometimes I need something to eat real quick. I'm at the job, man. I, can't, I ain't got time to come home and cook because I'm hungry. I get off 7 o'clock. I'm ready to eat at 5. I don't want to wait till 7 to come home and eat. I got to cook it another half hour. Peppermint tea with some honey in it. And some fruit juice. A little bit of fruit juice. It's a dash of fruit juice. Yep. 
Bahad had the gout. So I had to read, well, can I drink? Here's my behind. Please stop calling me. So I read this. Eat no freaking turkey. I lost your mind. No, don't eat meat. I ain't eat nothing that got eyes. Except a fish, a salmon, or a whiting, or something like that. You know, I don't eat nothing. I don't drink milk, eat eggs. But from time to time, I might. But it's not part of my lifestyle. There's no that. It ain't part of my lifestyle. Ain't either. Let's get back to the story. Y'all messed me up. I found out a way to get rid of uric acid. No, what I what I did was I said, I need something to drink, man. This door was hurting. My toe was hurting. I need something to drink, man. I had to have something to drink, dog. What can I drink taking steroids? And gout. Whiskey. Whiskey. Whiskey helps everything. Then they drink whiskey when they're having syrup. Oh, yeah, well, I got cherry juice, but that one going to help, dog. Ch cherry juice is not going to put me in the state of mind. Oh, boy, here goes the phone. Get ready to conk out again. Hold on. Can't stand these ratchet phones. They horrible. Um, hold on, y'all. I hope this is the right cable. I told this story, all of a sudden the phone's about to go whack. Hold on while I try to plug this phone. I hope this is the right cable. I gotta get another phone, man. I got a bunch of phones that ain't worth a dime. Did that kick in? Is that charging? Nope, wrong cable. Hold on, y'all. Straight org. Phones ain't worth a dime. People got them doggone iPhones, man. They ain't worth a dime either. They don't spend like $900 on an iPhone. The thing don't stay charged for long because there's too much going on. Is that it? Did I get it? Is it charging? There we go. We got a charge. Because when this gets to 40, you might as well say zero. But that's about what this doggone phone want to do. It goes from 40 to zero in two freaking seconds. All right. So now we go. We got charged back on the phone. <sighs> I'm using my other phone when I get up. If I go up to Lancaster, I'm not sure yet. I use the other phone to do the video up there. So yeah, so I found out whiskey gets rid of the uric acid that gives you gout. That don't mean I become an alcoholic, but I had had spanked it just a little bit. But you know, I had this for about what two weeks now. But yeah, whiskey gets rid of uric acid. Doesn't mean you're supposed to drink it every day. You know what I mean? Here's what it is. Yeah, I don't do the iPhones. I don't chase phones. I got a cheap phone. I got fragrances in the studio to maintain. I would never spend six hundred thousand dollars on a phone when I can buy me a microphone. I can buy me a tube preamp. I can buy me a guitar with a thousand dollars. Freaking phone. That's foolishness. But then, yeah, you guys don't have studios. Don't have fragrances, so you can buy iPhones. Do that. Have fun with that. The next year, they already got. They already got iPhone 19 out already. You just buy an iPhone 10 for a thousand dollars. Imagine that. Jim Beans, honey. I was gonna get vanilla because I'm like, whiskey and vanilla. That would be nice because it's like a fragrance. Why wouldn't with honey and whiskey? Like a fragrance. Honey whiskey. Right? So that's pretty much why I got that. Why is it up here? Well, now, if you haven't answered or figured it out, it's too late. We have one winner, so that's all we have. If I find out that somebody else guessed it after this video, or you are here from Facebook, or you are here from Instagram, and you guessed it, I will make sure I look at the timestamp, and the other person will get it, which come as well. Now I'm going to look at one more, and that's it. That's all I got. I'm looking at one more, and I'm out of here. I'm not buying a new phone, man. I'm buying a new microphone. Come on, dog. Did I just tell you that? Phones don't mean nothing to me. I want a thousand dollar microphone. I want a thousand dollar freaking mic preamp. Who cares about a freaking phone? I don't, I don't even believe you even said that to me. You made me upset saying some craziness like that. And you know me better than that. Thousand dollars for a freaking iPhone. How can you know what kind of mic I can buy for a thousand dollars? I mean, not as good the two thousand microphone, two thousand dollar microphones I have back there right now. But I can buy a good thousand dollar microphone that'll make my singers make us Grammys. iPhone ain't gonna give me a Grammy. All right, next. What we got here? And then I'm last one. Man, call me when you done. You about to get steroid treatment. I ain't get no steroid treatment, dog. I'm done with that. 
I had like four, I took four steroid joints, I had to take four that day. Toe is good, I'm out. Now, let's get back to where I'm at now. Y'all, you're holding me up, I got stuff to do. So what I'm getting ready to do is, bam. All you guys didn't get it, nobody got it, so you ain't got it. I'm gonna take this syringe, I mean this, not syringe, what? All right, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta stay focused, man. Y'all talking about iPhones now. I don't even want to talk about phones. Come on, man. We talking about fragrances here, dog. Come on, bro. Stay focused, homie. Stay focused, baby. Stay focused. Please. Let's go. My little bottle, I'm putting in a, you know what I mean? So what's going to go in here? Well, it's too late. Y'all didn't guess it. But we're putting a little bit of leather flow in here. A little bit. We'll put about half in there. Half a flow. Right? Little bit of gym bean. Then a little bit. Then a little bit. A little bit of gym. Whoa, look at that. Look at that thing flower up. Woo, look at that. Look what it did. Look what it did. Look at it. Look what it did. I hope this thing don't blow up, man. It might blow up. Look at that. I think a little bit of, little bit of honey down in there. All right. Yes. What I'm doing is making a Roger Real Deep Cool Leather Flow Intense. <laughs> what? That's what we're doing, cuz. Now we're going to put this top back on here. Shake it up. See what we get. Shake it. Because you got to do a little bit at a time. Like, when you go to the sit and sip, you got to do a little bit at a time. Man, this thing is leaking and dripping. This is a bad freaking... Whoever sent me this, sent me a bad... You know what I mean? I'm getting honey on my clothes. All right. So we're hoping the alcohol, the perfumes alcohol is breaking this down. We're going to get a clean piece of paper and we're going to spray it. See what we get. So right now, this is going to be Roger Real Deep Cool Leather Flow Enhanced with Honey Whiskey and some honey. Y'all tripping, dog. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready to do that, man. No fragrance review video. That's corny. Anybody can do that. Anybody can talk about 30,000 reviewers and 29,000 fragrances. You're ridiculous. It's corny, dog. That's corny. I'm changing the game as I always do, because that's what I do. Your boy changed the game of the vernacular. Wasn't nobody saying cage until I got into the game. Wasn't nobody saying bars. Wasn't nobody saying yeah, I mean, till your boy got in the game. And I ain't bragging. Y'all just know I be trying to change the game, man. I ain't trying to be like the rest of them. How about to say Negroes? I ain't trying to be like the rest of them people. Freaking living life through reviews and all that stuff. Man, I'm, I'm living, dog. I'm living through everything. Let's go. Bars. I'm playing with y'all. All right, so now let's get a little whiff of this bad boy with the infused, with the infused honey. I don't know what you're saying, but I can't read all that. I'll address it later. I can't read. Glasses. Phone too small. I'm not buying an iPhone. So now we're going to spray this onto here. Let's, let's sit back and relax now. Now it's time to sit back and relax. You didn't guess it, so you're not getting a free five mil. Because you didn't guess it. We talking about everything else, iPhones, all that stuff. We could have been guessing what I was going to do. So now you don't get a squid. You want to talk about iPhones. Right, let's see what we got here. Whoa, that, al <laughs> that, <laughs> that alcohol really came through. Yeah, man, that's, that's really whiskey -y. That's That's a lot of whiskey. Let me spray the original. The top end. We spray the original. <laughs> it's a lot of whiskey. I think I put too much whiskey in it. Might make you drunk. And I don't know the effect of the skin, so do not do this at home. Even though there's nothing but whiskey and honey on your skin, but I'm still not going to advise you you do this at home. I'll be the guinea pig. All right, here's the original. Ride the real deep flow, leather flow. Wow. <laughs> 
That's crazy, yo. Uh, we gotta add a little bit more leather flow. We gotta add a little bit more leather flow. And congratulations to my man Carlos, who guessed what I was gonna do. He wins the five mil. I don't feel like pouring it back in, but I guess I got to. All right, we're gonna pour this a little bit more in. Y'all play too much. Try to give y'all five mil. Y'all wanna talk about iPhones. I don't get it. Y'all be puzzling me sometimes. And I don't care about no phones, but yet again, you still wanna talk about iPhones. I ain't get it. Know how I live my life. You wanna talk about iPhones. All right, here we go. Damn, man. All right, so I'll put a little bit more of a uh, yami mean, yami know I mean in there. We're gonna shake it up. Got another test strip. I'm gonna pop it off. Shaking it. Get one of them Joe Malone test strips. I mean, not Joe Malone. Sam McCarthy's so very, very good to me. She sent me a whole bunch of samples, man, with the cards and thank you and all that stuff. And she sent her fragrance list and stuff you're not going to find, all these beautiful cards. So I'd like to thank Sarah McCarthy. In fact, I'm going to throw these in the cage somewhere. In fact, I should put them there where all her Sarah McCarthy fragrances are. That's what I'm going to do. These go in the cage with the Sarah McCarthy's I have, which is like 14. All right? Thank you, Sarah McCarthy. 4162 is London. If you're seeing this, I'll tag you down in my comment section below. I guess a lot of people do it or something. I'm lazy when it comes to this tagging and all that stuff, man. I don't know how to do all this stuff. But we're going to use a test strip. She sent me all these test strips because she sent me like a, a billion freaking samples. So we use one of these test strips. I'm sure. I know, Sarah, I'm not, using, I'm not testing with your fragrance, but hey, sometimes we got to test my stuff. Here we go. Leather flow with infused whiskey and honey. Add it. Okay. And let me get another one. Leather flow, straight up. Holler at your boy bars. Okay. I'm trying to get a strip out of here. In case you got so many. All right, there's a regular leather flow on this one. So put that down. Put that down. And this is how you do your freight. You gotta keep, you gotta keep like, you know, band and go back and forth, back and forth till you get the right combination, man. I'm looking for, I want the leather to still be prominent. That's why I pour some more in there. I need the leather. This leather is very nice. I got two types of leather in here. Do I? No, I got two types of tobacco in here. So this is leather flow. This, when you first spray this with the, like, it's leather immortel and, and tobacco. But there's two types of tobacco. There's tobacco vanille and it's called Dan's Den Tobacco. When you first sprayed it, in fact, Brian liked it. Brian was like, yo, that's nice, man. Brian from Perfumology. I gave him a five mil. And I left it there for near the smell, too. He's like, man, that's nice. I didn't tell him it was mine. I was like, yo, man, my man gave me this fragrance, man. He went, I like it, man. Check it out. I think you might dig this. So he didn't even know it was mine. He's like, I like that, bro. Ride the leather flow. The boy's on a different level, man. Let Steve and Mr. Oz do their thing. I'm next. But my, my fragrances come with music. That's why I set it apart. My fragrances will come with a song. Bars. There we go. Now we back at it. Now I smell the honey. I got the honey. And the whiskey is definitely an even balance now. I got an even balance. I definitely got an even balance now. I can smell the whiskey and the honey, and I got the leather that I'm getting from this swatch. Yeah, that's pretty good. What's going on, Doc? I can't comment because I'm in the middle of doing something, but check out the rest of the video later, man. I think you will like it. I'm telling stories. I'm talking about gout. All kinds of craziness, man. I ain't got a business. So now we got to fill this bottle up because I'm going to take this with me wherever I go today and see what somebody think about it. So let's, let's, I'm going to add a little bit more leather flow. Because I want to keep that leather prominent. And then we're just going to infuse the rest with the um, with the whiskey. Okay? Do not try this at home. It might blow up or something. I don't know. Oh, there you go. Hold on. All right, there we go. So now I put more leather flow in there. And now we're going to put no more leather flow in there. And now the rest... Cause I got the combination there. I know I know the 
I know the ratio of whiskey and honey to leather flow. I got that ratio. I like the ratio that I got. So, again, I'm almost out of leather flow. When I when I go Saturday, I'm not gonna. I'm doing a whole different fragrance. I ain't gonna tell y'all what I'm doing, but it's gonna be hot. So I got an idea what the notes I'm using on this next fragrance when I go make this Saturday. And again, if you can make it, if you can make it to Lansdale, PA, I got some people coming from out of town where they say they're coming. Uh, a couple of young ladies say they're coming. They're doing a road trip. And they're coming to the sit and sit. Or, or you can go to, you can go to uh, um, uh, Nears, uh, John Bieber make a fragrance situation. So whichever one you want to do is on Saturday. Mine's from 5 to 7. I think Nears is around by that time as well. But of course, we can't go no longer than 8. 8, the shop's closed. But again... You can bring your own wine, you can bring your food, everything, a sit and sip, and you get to make your own fragrance, whether it's a soap, whether it's a lotion, whether it's a bath wash, whether it's a candle, you can make anything you want there at sit and sip. That's my selling point. You got to buy what you make. You got to buy what you make. That's it. That's what it come down to. You got to buy what you make. So I got that. We're done with that. Roger Leather Flow with Brian Lights from Perfumology. And then we're going to pour a little bit more whiskey in here. And this is going to be it. A little, little slight, little slight tinge. Who doesn't want that alcohol in there? See how it's going in there? Look at, look, at, look, at, look, at, look, at, look, look, look at it. It's infusing. Something, something chemically is happening in there. When they mix together, I guess the perfumer's alcohol is mixing with the, 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 the gym bean alcohol. And something is happening with that infusion. And you should see it right now. It's reacting. It's reacting. Sometimes you got to react. Bars. So we went from here. That's the liquor infused to the regular. Then we did another swatch here. We went from the more. This is the whiskey. And this is the original. And then we're going to do one last one. And it's called Here's What It Is. In fact, the next fragrance I'm making, there you go, is going to be called it is what it is. Uh, copywritten and trademarked because I did it right here in public forum. So it's already copywritten and trademarked. If somebody else make a fragrance like that, I'm taking you to freaking court. So just get ready because I ain't never been to court. But I'm going to get that money. Bars. You got to put the honey in there. And we're done. A little bit of honey. Yeah, make it silky on your skin when it goes on your skin. Then bars. Bars. Put that in there right there. We're gonna shake it. What's going on, bro? I'm about done this video. I gotta get ready to bounce, man. But uh what I did was I made I had Rogers Leather Flow, which was the original, as you can see. I'm almost out of this. I've been smoking this. And now I got the Infused version, the honey and the honey and whiskey infused version is right here, baby. Look at that cloudiness. Look at that. I tell you, it's gonna be silky smooth on the skin. I tell you right there, that's silky smooth right there, bars. Now I gotta release some of that pressure, though. I think there might be a little pressure in here, so let me let me spray some of this out. Cause right now it's a hot mess with honey all over the place. I make sure Dum Dum didn't infuse the atomizer with honey and it don't spray. Oh, there we go. So you gotta shake it. Cause we gotta wait. See that honey down there? Look, look, look. See the look, 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 look. See the honey down there? We gotta get that honey to infuse. I'm gonna turn it upside down. Let the honey infuse. And I'll talk about what this bottle used to have in it that you guys may want to check out. This bottle, you, somebody sent me a uh, decant. I think it was my girl, uh, Michelle Lund, Lund, Lundgren. Michelle Lundgren from the sites sent me a, um, sent me a, yeah, I mean. All right, bro. Holla at your boy. Uh, she sent me a, a sample of David Jerkin. I think his name is David Jerkin. He's from France. It was called Cure Artiste. Man, is there some good juice. Y'all got to check out this juice. Go to, um. You can only get his juice at Lucky Scent. So look up uh look up David Jerkin on Lucky Scent. And uh 
He's selling the fragrance called Cure Artiste. There's another one too, but Cure Artiste is leather and amber, man. Oh, it is so good. It's $260 a bottle for 100 mil, but you can buy like the refill type bottle without all the cuteness with it and everything. You can buy that for, I think, like 200, 199. Still 100 mil or 90 mil or something like that. I'm not sure. Maybe 75 mil. You can buy that for 200. But it's called Cure Artiste. I think his name, like I said, I think you spell his last name J O U R Q U I N, like the drink, like Joaquin. That's how you spell his name. But real cool guy, man. Uh, you know, homeboy, you know, a broham, making his own juice over there. So check him out in France, David Joaquin. You can look it up. Just, just look up Cure Altice. C U I R Altice. Look that up and uh, you can see the rest of his fragrances. I want to get one of those one day, definitely. But that's it. What I was doing today, making my own whiskey and honey infused version of Leather Fluff. That's it. One person, one five mil. I get at you. I think his name is Carlos. I get at you, bro. Talk to you later. Y'all have a super duper day, man. I'm on staycation. I don't know what I'm going to do today. Like I said, I might go up to Rogers and smell some juices up there. I don't know. Whatever the heaven gives me to do, just pray for travel mercies. I ain't going to say what he gives me to do, but what I've decided to do, I hope it's cool. And uh, I get travel mercies. And again, today, Squid, I'm not doing a review. All I'm going to say is just buy it because I don't review phrases anymore. I know that's like, 32. I can't help it, man. I had to do it. Whew. Well, let me pop out another five mil so I can take that up there and let, uh, let my man smell. Because I'm going to carry the bottle. Let my man smell my leather flow. See if he like my leather flow juice. He might want to put it in the store. You never know. He might want to put it in the store. Brian liked it. He might like, I don't need to spray that much out. But I told somebody I'm going to send him five mils. So I got to at least have enough to send out to the person who made a request who wanted it, okay? All right, so last but not least, let's do it. Let me see what the difference is between the ones I've already done and the final product. Okay, here we go. Thank you again, Sarah McCarthy, for your test strips. Appreciate it. Help me develop my own juice. And don't forget, buy you one of these holders right here. Look at all them, look at all them five mils and all my crystal fragrances joints right there. You can put at least a hundred, five mils. I don't know about ten mil. Five. I got this from Alta. It was like nineteen bucks. I used a three dollar and fifty cent coupon. You can get it right on your phone. They used it right then. I got it for like seventeen dollars. Back to nineteen with tax. Real sturdy. Just gotta find a place to put it. Cause y'all know I'm strategic with my displays. You know what I mean? Back in the back in the back. Oh, that's even better right there. I like that. I like that setup right there. Yeah, I like that staggered setup right there. It's hot. I'm out, y'all. Oh, I got. Oh, I got spray right. Okay, let's go. Final production of Leather Flow whiskey and honey infused. You see the honey selling down at the bottom. So you want to shake it every time you use it, so the the atomizer doesn't get clogged up. There you go. Spray. This, is a, this desk is a mess. That is good. That is freaking good. And you can see the honey all... Look at that. Look at the honey. It's just dripping of honey all over the paper, man. You can, it's just shining with honey. The perfume oil. He's a genius. He is a genius. What? I'm going to spray the regular strip. The boy's a genius. I want to tell you. So your boy do. Like he makes some tracks. He makes some juices. I'm out, man. Y'all take care of yourself. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope y'all had fun with me, man. And I got to get ready to get out of here because I'm going to find out whether I'm going to make a trip or not, whether I'm staying home. I don't know what I'm doing. I got to wash some clothes. It is vacation week. Take care of yourself. If you have any information you want to ask me about the holder, from Alta, U-L-T-A. There's one right here in Plymouth Meeting. So that's where me and Twinkle Toes went. And she grabbed one. And I got one. And then the squid, of course, from Perfumology. Make sure you check that out. It's 25 North 3rd Street, Center City. P-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3
PA. And again, Sam McCarthy, old school box. Mrs. Glass made me do it. Thanks to Jim Bean and your whiskey. How at your boy? Thanks to Wholesome Pantry. I got this from Fresh Grocer. I'm going to have a lot of product plugs with this juice right here. And then we're going to thank Sit and Sip for the opportunity for me to make my juice. This bottle is 120 mil. I spent $45 for 120 mil. Well worth it. Well worth it. Especially when people say they like it. Two people in my job like it. The other guy, he wasn't really in the fragrance. He said something about metabolism. I'm like, he said, my metabolism? Bro, fragrance has nothing to do with your metabolism. But that's my homie, man. You know, he, he ain't quite, he don't quite understand the game yet. But I'm going to turn him on. He'll pick it up eventually. He'll pick it up eventually. Because that's on me. I'm educated. That's what I do. All right, I'm out, y'all. Any other? Oh, the final product. Roger Real D. Cool Leather Flow with infused Jim Bean honey. Honey whiskey and wholesome pantry honey. That's all I got for you. I'm out, baby. I might spray this somewhere, though. Just have it on my skin. Don't put it in your clothes, though. That honey might get in your clothes. I'm out. No, nah, I'm just talking about Fred. I'm not doing reviews. But look at the whole video. Check out the title. Look at the whole video. Are y'all coming down to the sit and sip? Alatish, are y'all coming down to the sit and sip? If y'all coming down, let me know so I can make sure we got them seats available for you. Because the seats are, you know, getting crowded pretty quick. Right now, they've got 10 seats to be just to make sure. But definitely, what you got there? Yeah, if you're going to make it down to the sit and sip, you, I heard you say you was trying. Okay. Yeah, let me know. But let me know for sure, though. You got definitely let me know by Friday. I got to know so I can make sure I got enough seats, all right? Anybody else coming to the sit and sit? Let me know you're coming so I can have it ready. Talk to y'all later. How about your boy? www.rajur.net. You know what it is.